to my hometown from London last night and this morning I'm gonna go to Newcastle to have some brunch, lunch and dinner there. The good thing about not having Instagram anymore is the fact that you don't get inundated with stories and updates of people that you're not really interested in but you can literally just contact people and so I contacted people who I knew lived in the area and so these are like two colleagues that I worked with and one friend who I went to university with and did pre-registration year with. I am going there now and it's going to be like a full-on packed day but I'm really excited. I just really miss my old colleagues from my old workplace so I feel like it's going to be really nice to catch up and see them again. And uh, tomorrow is Mother's Day so I have to get some like a card I've already got my mum's present so I'm gonna get the card and then if I make it back in town I'm gonna hopefully go to church but I probably won't make it back in time so I'll probably have to go to fact, I actually went to Newcastle University um, I changed my degree three times at my university before settling on King's College London. So the first university I went to was Newcastle for pharmacology, the second was English Literature at Seoul National University, the third was Pharmacy at King's College London. So I actually have so many memories of Newcastle and it used to be this big city near the town, little town that I'm from and it used to be just like the place to go to. It's funny now. I can't remember. Today, but she said she's fine, so I just want to show her lovely coat. I love the colour. Have fun at your locum shift. See you again soon. Next time. I'm sat in an egg chair waiting for Nishi. Just swinging in Phoenix. Oh my god, yeah. Is it yours? Oh my god, that's amazing. Turn around. Wow, I love the colour. It's so long. So we've just been talking about um, forming pharmacy interviews. Honestly, like this. <laughs> they are Yeah, yeah. Um, I had one for an eye hospital, and they were like, yeah, yeah. And they were like, oh, um, council on these eye drops, and I was like, so basically, you um just like open your eye and you just put them in your. Did <laughs> It was so bad. And they were actually steroid eye drops, and um, they, they were like, "Have you got anything else to say about steroids?" I was like, "Well, you need a steroid card." It was so bad. It was so bad. Well, yes, I had an interview actually. Um, maybe like a month ago, and it was like, they asked me about our kids' hospital standards. Like, that's something you should know. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> you advise me. Yeah. So they asked me that in interviews. I didn't know they do, but apparently they do. And honestly, they told me, oh, it's been updated recently. What's the most important thing? Like, the important points you can learn from it? And um, I well, didn't know. Well, the important point is it's that it's been updated. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't even know they existed. So then, you know what? I had to be honest. And I was like, I didn't. Because, <laughs> yeah, you're not going to make it. Yeah, it'd be worse, I think, if you made it. Can you imagine if I'm being all about it? You've just been going on and on about some of the and you would think I'm even more stupid than I already am. Just prepare yourself for your life. Well, you can't prepare yourself because you just don't know what they're gonna, what kind of crap they're gonna throw at you. You know what you need to do? You need to learn the MEP specialist stuff of things. Because hospital standards are there, aren't they? Oh, are they? That's the tip you don't look at. So. But then one time you'll memorise all of it and then you'll go and they won't ask you a single question on it. And I feel like that's so annoying. You like the counter report. Like you said, the process of applying is just so long. So long. Look at me, I'm trying everything. Like, I'm 
don't even know how to do it. Do you miss university? We went to university together at King's College. So I don't know what it is, whether it's my clothes, my camera, or the keys or anything, but all day today I've been setting off the alarms when I walk into and out of shops. I'm literally in the toilet now thinking, like, what is it? Looking in the mirror, looking at my clothes, thinking, like, can I take it off and just get rid of it? I'm so paranoid. Like, I was in Hollister, just browsing, and then I came out, and then the alarms went off. It's so, like, staff were, like, running out, and I literally had my hands up like this, like, I didn't steal anything. So, so embarrassing. I'm just gonna find somewhere that doesn't have alarms, sit there and wait to meet Maria now, which is my final appointment of the day. I literally look like a fish. <laughs> the famous Anisas that Maria talks about like 10 billion times. We're finally here. <laughs> I totally forgot to tell Maria that this jewellery that I'm wearing today is what she got me as a leaving present. So, yeah, I wore this all day today along with the earrings. My makeup's basically just falling off my face because it's like the end of the day. So forgive me, but yeah, I'm not going to film for long, so it should be fine. Um, after we went to the restaurant, Maria and her sisters all came back to my house and we had tea and chatted with my mum and brother and talked all things Korea, Korean drama, also about Pakistani dramas as well, and culture and the future, and it was just such an interesting conversation. I had such a nice time. I, yeah, I've had such a nice day from start to end like seeing people that I love and miss and it feels good to come back home. I felt, oh yeah, actually yesterday I slept so well. I feel like sleeping at home where you know your parents are is a different sort of night to sleeping when you're away from them. And so it was really calm and quiet, no sounds of cars, no sounds of people screaming and shouting on the street like I hear in London. It was just, so relaxing so I'm really happy that I've come for the weekend and tomorrow's Mother's Day so I'm gonna write my mum's card and then go to bed so yeah um, I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog wherever you are whoever you are and I'll see you in the next video bye